Trying to get some high speed footage here. The pigeons are not cooperating. Oh well, cars always do. Tonight we are running on the right track. Okay, so we're back in the studio. I'm using the DJI Mic 2. I was requested to use this camera as a studio cam to show you what that looks like. Uh, I was asked to uh, film it at 4K 30. I did put Rocksteady on, I guess just in case I bump into something, but it's not really necessary. I've got the EV sent to minus seven EV. And I've got some adjustments on my shutter speed. I think that it's one over 30 and I've adjusted the ISO. So I've got some manual settings. However, it's still in standard 10 bit. No D log M, it's just standard 10 bit. I adjusted the other settings because things were just a little too bright. So you do have to play with the settings if you're gonna use it in the studio. But this is what it looks like. It looks pretty good. This is a nighttime shot. During the daytime, it tends to adjust itself a lot differently. Now, I did do some vlogging out in, when I was outside to get the 960 footage, but I thought, well, you know, maybe I'll reiterate a few things about this Insta360 Ace Pro 2. So I was interested in acquiring this camera. I was going to compare it against the Osmo Pocket 3 for low light. Uh, the last time the Pocket 3 was compared against the first generation of Ace Pro, it did much better in low light because of the one inch sensor and because it's just an overall fantastic camera. It just, it just does amazing things in low light. But no one has done any comparison between the Osmo Pocket 3 and the Insta360 Ace Pro 2. I've seen some fake ones out there, but they were just fake. You know, I'm just, I'm not even gonna entertain those. I'm talking about some YouTubers that are more respected and, and I know that if they did the footage, it would be legit. Anyways, that's it for, that's, that's what this looks like. So now would I recommend this camera for a studio? Uh, no, no. I you don't use action cameras for studio cameras. I, I'm, you know, I do want to make sure that I try to follow the request of some of my subscribers and followers because if they say, hey, you know, can you try this? Can you try that? I'll, if I can, I will. But if it's something that I just would not really want to do, I'm just going to say no. For instance, somebody wanted me to get an iPhone so I could figure out how to fix the microphone to the iPhone with the programming and I'm like I don't, I don't want to buy an iPhone you know I'm a regular blue collar person I pay for this with my own money from my job so I don't get a lot of gear sent to me for free <laughs> just so you know I am not that big I just am just a regular person and um, you know I'm just making my way through life just like you and um, I, I just, 
I will do my very best though because some of your questions are really good and I just wanted to answer them. I wanted to do the 960 footage because nobody's been talking about that. This camera at 960 interpolated or not 960 frames is considered a high-speed camera. High-speed cameras are very expensive cameras. They can cost thousands and thousands of dollars. So for this little tiny camera that's less than $500 to do 960 frames per second, interpolated or not, I think is incredible. So anyways, this is just a short video on, you know, the request that I had for the 4K30. And like I said, I had to adjust the EV and the studio lighting, by the way, is set at 5,600 Kelvin. And the type of studio lighting I'm using is made by Newer, and it's softbox lighting. I've got one here and one here, and I've got some LED lights around too. So I don't have the, the costs on all of those, but you know, lighting can run you a lot of money, especially softbox lighting. And I think these ones, I got them on sale last year around Christmas time. So I went on a bit of a spending spree on you know things that I needed to get to uh, improve my channel and it has improved it quite a bit. Not only has the quality of my channel gone up, but the amount of subscribers that I, I have uh, has exploded over just the past year. It's, it's just been fantastic that way and I really appreciate the support. And I do think that a lot of people are um, joining my channel because they know that I'm not gonna harass them to buy them. I don't want you to buy me a coffee or join my club or membership. And I'm not gonna restrict videos saying that you can only see this if you're a member. I, I don't agree with that. If, if you were nice enough to sit through those commercials and you just watch my video to the end, that's thanks enough for me. And that's that's all I really need, you know, because I, I have a day job, you know, I'm. I don't need to, to do all those things. And as far as affiliate links go, I don't get any money off any links that I put in there. I was in the past gonna go down that route and then I had a, a moment of thought and I said, you know, I don't think I'm gonna go that way. It just, it, it doesn't seem, it just didn't feel right for me, for me. I don't blame other people for doing it, but it just didn't feel right for me. So take care, be safe at work and I will see you at the next video and I hope you enjoyed this and I hope if you really liked it and for the guy that asked for the 4k 30 you know I did it so there you go can't say I'm not a man of my word all right bye